So just notice how you're feeling. If you've just woken up, that's fine. Don't worry if your body just isn't ready to sit up really tall and we don't have to force anything. Just become aware. Just bring awareness. Awareness is the key thing. Awareness of your feet, your legs, your sitting bones, awareness of your spine. Just giving it that little awareness. Tailbone. Just a couple of breaths. Focusing on your tailbone. Just notice it growing heavier. And then take your awareness up your spine. Slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, just traveling up the body. Just notice that as you do that, as you give it some attention, it naturally wants to lengthen, you know, without stress in the body, without any discomfort at all. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Bring awareness all the way up between the shoulder blades and up the back, upper back, and the back of your neck as well. All the way to the bone at the back here. I can never pronounce it. I think it's the occipital or I can't remember, I can't remember what it's called. But the base of the, the skull there. Kind of just gently lift that upwards slightly. A natural lift in the spine as you do. Just that little awareness helps to make us sit up tall. Relax the facial muscles. Tongue resting at the bottom of the mouth. And focus on the breath now as you breathe in and out through the nose. Again, just by giving awareness to the breath, notice how it starts to get deeper all by itself. deep breaths, so inhaling, filling the lungs, exhaling all the way out, contracting the abdominal muscles, inhale, exhale, nostrils, the inhalation happens by itself, and we use the abdominal muscles to push, to force the air out through the nose, okay, so you can use your hand on your belly to help you kind of remind yourself to push, to pull the, the muscles in, uh, but it looks a little bit like this. something to practice first thing in the morning, definitely not later on in the day. It stokes your digestive fire, ready for the day ahead. It um, strengthens your core muscles naturally, just tones your muscles and keeps everything strong. 
and it really energizes as well. So again, it's best done first thing in the morning. Um, and if you are feeling a bit anxious this morning, we'll, we'll just take it slowly and maybe just do the one round. Okay, probably best to, to avoid a couple of anti breath if you are feeling really anxious. But we'll just do one round together slowly. And then if you want to continue, we'll do another round. Um, otherwise, you could just sit and take some deep breaths. Um, so before we begin, we'll take one regular breath in and out. So filling the lungs, you breathe in. And completely emptying the lungs as we breathe out. Bring the hands to the belly. Inhale. And off we go. our legs crossing the other way and we'll take a regular breath in and out so inhale and exhale emptying the lungs remember you can sit on a block or a cushion just make sure you're comfortable and the spine is, is straight here yeah. so feel free to join me for a second round or just sit and breathe taking some nice deep breaths in your own time ready for round two. You can keep the hand on the belly or release it if you know what you're doing. Inhale. completely. We're going to retain the breath, so inhale, retain, Thanks. 
exhale. Open your eyes, inhale, bring the arms over the head. Exhale to the heart. And again, inhale. And this time, exhale, reaching forwards, fingertips to the mat, on the floor in front of you, and lift to send the heart forwards. Exhale to walk the fingers away from you and bring the forehead closer to the ground. And then from there, roll the knees forwards, come on to all fours, and just move the body. Free flow, moving the hips, the head. Making sure you're moving your neck as well. Maybe opening and closing your eyes, opening wide and squeezing them shut a couple of times. And then coming into a neutral position. So cat's cow flow. Inhale to open. Exhale, round the body, chin to the collarbone. Inhale. Exhale. Move, bend the arms, press into the hands, inhaling, and then straighten them, well, almost straight. And exhale, bend the arms. As we move, exhaling into this position. Right. In more movement. Starting to feel the arms working a little bit more. And as we exhale the next time, place the chest and chin on the floor. Just walk the knees back slightly, perhaps if you feel they need to be, and wiggle the hips from side to side. And release the belly to the floor, soften the hands, feet together, inhale, press into the pubic bone, come into a baby cobra. Just rest your hands here, don't use them at all. Just warming up our lower back area. And then press into the hands and push the hips all the way back towards the heels, hands by the feet in cobra, uh, baby, child's pose, sorry. So of course if your hips are in the air, your best placing a block under your head, a cushion perhaps, anything that helps. And you can ease the hips back down or you can stack your fists and just rest here. But it is more important to have the hips on the heels. The focus is just here in the lower back, so feel the back spreading here and breathe. And then stretch the arms forwards, tuck the toes under, and press the hips away to downward facing dog. Bending the legs, trying to reach the belly to the thighs. And exhale, sending the right heel to the floor. Breathing here, three breaths, stretching the back of the right leg. Inhale to release. Exhale the left heel. And 
Inhale, release and exhale, bow heel. Wiggle the hips from side to side. And then walk the feet to the front of the mat. And grab the elbows, bend the legs, just allow your upper body to spread towards the floor here. the crossing of the arms. And then release the arms and uncurl. Breathing in the whole way as the fingers come together over the head. Then grab your left wrist and exhale, stretch to the right, pressing down into that left foot both feet, making sure your weight doesn't come all the way over to the right. Inhale to the centre, change, exhale. Inhale to the centre and exhale to open the arms. Inhale to reach up. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale into halfway lift. And exhale to fold the body, fingers in line with the toes. Lift the sitting bones. Inhale, look forward and send your right foot to the back of the mat. Hold the breath here and step back into plank. Breathe out, knees, chest and chin. Breathe in to Cobra, pressing into the hands. Come up higher. Exhale, toes under and send yourself into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg right behind you, look forwards and swing the foot between the hands and the left foot to follow. Little halfway lift and exhale to fold. Inhale, bend the legs, drop the hips, sweep the arms forward, rising up, opening the heart, and exhale to the heart center. Inhale, arms over the head. Exhale to open. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, left foot back. Hold the breath into plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg in between the hands. And exhale, right, releasing forwards. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards and up. Exhale to the heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, closing. Inhale, right foot. Left foot. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg and through. Left. Folding forwards. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Open. Inhale. Reaching up. Exhale. Folding. Inhale. Opening the heart. Exhale. Closing. Fingers in line with the toes. Inhale. Left foot back. And right foot. Exhale. Caterpillar pose. Inhale. Cobra. Feet together if possible. Exhale. Downward dog. Inhale, left, right, inhale, exhale to the heart. Venture to do this last round on each side with some variations. And exhale to open, inhale to rise, exhale, fall forwards. Inhale to lengthen the spine into halfway lift. Exhale, bend the legs, and we're going to grab the elbows behind our legs, squeeze the body against the thighs, and with each inhalation, try lifting the hips a little bit higher. Relax your shoulders and neck. Try bringing the weight of body forward a little bit more, tilting forward, lift the sitting bones. And then if you are fairly flexible, you can bring the arms onto the backs of the calves, down to the calves. And bend the legs, look forward, fingers in line with the toes, step back with your right foot as you breathe in. And bring the arms over the head. Hold it here. Back leg is off the mat for a moment. Opening here. And then exhale, place the knee on the mat, uncurl the back toes, press the top of the foot into the mat. And open here. Exhale to bring the hands in front of the heart. Inhale here. And exhale, twist to the left. Bring your elbow outside the thigh and lift so that your elbows are in one line. Turn the fingers to the face. Use the right arm to lift the body and twist a little bit more. Again, you can stay here on top of the back toes under, lifting the knee off the mat. Pushing that heel away from you if the knee's off the mat. Distributing the weight of the body. And then release the hands to the floor. And let's start pulling the hips back, rolling the toes off the floor to stretch that left leg. Heart forwards. And release. We're going to adjust the back foot. Bend the front leg, come into warrior one. side of the foot, then on the back foot and step back into the plank pose. Holding it here. So you can either keep staying plank or you can bring your left knee to the mat to modify. We're going to inhale and as we exhale we're bringing the knee to our nose. And as we inhale We'll stretch the right leg back behind us. Look forwards. So do this two more times. Exhale. Bring the knee to the nose, rounding the body. And inhale. Take it back again. As I said, just drop the left knee if you prefer. And one more time. Exhale. 
and inhale. Now from here, you're either coming, if you're on your knee, you're just coming straight into, drop the right knee and come straight down into caterpillar. If you're doing the stronger variation, you can bend your arms, get the right leg lifted and come into Chaturanga Dandasana and then lifting into upward facing dog, keeping the right leg lifted. This is just an advanced variation. And then we're all rolling back. Into down dog, lifting our right leg in the air. Now we're going to bend the right leg, bring the knee behind the right wrist into Royal Pigeon Pose. Open the heart. Breathe here. Walk the hands forwards. Rest the forehead on the floor. If that's comfortable or any other variation, just stay here if that's better for you. But make sure the hips stay level with each other. They're not rolling over one way. And then walk the hands back towards you. Rest into the hands and send that right leg back in the air, lifting it as high as possible. And then look forwards and bring the foot in between the hands. And step forwards with the left foot. Exhale here. Inhale to reach forwards and up. Exhale to the heart. A little, little bit of a strong flow this morning for the core. Let's take a few breaths here. Thumbs resting against the heart, the chest, sorry, center of the chest. And breathe here. Feeling the heat in the body. Perhaps feel, find your heartbeat. Bring focus to the breath in and out through the nose. We'll go for the other side. Inhale. Exhale to open. Inhale. Reaching up. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale. To lengthen the spine. And exhale to fold the body forwards. Three breaths in. Forward bend. If the hands don't touch the floor. Just place them on the legs. Try to keep the legs straight now. You can feed the hands underneath the feet, back to the hands on the floor, so you're standing on your palms, if you like, and look down at the space between your feet and try lifting your heels off the floor for a balance variation. Or just keep the heels on the floor and stretch the body. And then we're going to release, look forwards, Inhale, left foot to the back of the mat and bring the arms over the head. Two more breaths here. And on the next exhalation, drop the back knee to the floor, uncurl the toes, press into the top of the foot and open here. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale here. And exhale, twist to the right. Bring the elbow. We well, don't have to, you can just stay here or bring the elbow outside and lift the right elbow. Turn the fingers to the face again. Press into the left arm to turn the body, twisting in it even more. You can stay here or tuck the back toes under again. Push the heel away from you into this variation. And release, fingers in line with the toes. And we're just going to place the hands on the floor as we did on the other side and lift the toes, pulling your hips back, bending your chest forwards, stretching that front leg. And 
and release. Step back into your plank. And we're going to do that same little um, flow that we did on the other side. So again, feel free to keep your right knee on the floor if you prefer. So inhale, lift that left leg behind you. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and take the left. So more advanced, you're keeping your left leg lifted behind you. We're either coming into caterpillar or chaturanga dandasana. And inhale, opening to cobra or upward facing dog, keeping that left leg lifted if you like. And then rolling, exhaling back into downward facing dog, keeping that left leg lifted. We're going to lift the leg and look forwards. We didn't do the warrior, did we, on this side? We've still got to do that. Now I'll bring the foot to the front of the mat. Look forwards. And right foot to follow. Exhale here. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards and up. Exhale to the heart. And we're going to step back with that left foot because we forgot to do the warrior. I forgot. And open the arms. So I do tend to just make the flows up as I go along. Sometimes I forget little bits. So please bear with me. And inhale to the center. So again, just taking three deep breaths. We'll just finish with the balance before we come on to our back. Finding your toes, so lift your toes, spread them wide, and press them back into the mat. We'll stand this way. Press down into the balls of the feet. And relax your shoulders, relax. Lift your kneecaps up towards you, up towards your thighs. Feel the legs strengthen as you do so. to lift our right leg as high as possible and use the hands to pull the knee higher keeping the body upright now if you have a belt to hand or a long sock or something you might want to use that so grab that quickly we're going to grab the bottom of the foot and try stretching the leg in front of us Keep the body upright, try not to lean forwards. If you've got the belt, place it around the ball of the foot, grab each end, your hands. And release. Give yourself another squeeze here. Release the leg. And change. Lifting your left leg this time the knee as high as possible into the chest. Take your belt if you're using one or grab the foot with the hands and stretch it away from you. And release, bend the leg and give yourself another hug here, squeezing it. And release. Inhale, come onto your toes, both arms over the head. And exhale to drop the heels to the floor, hands to the heart. And we'll do that again. Inhale, bring the arms over the head. And exhale, keeping on your toes this time, bending the legs, coming into a squat. Stretch the arms forwards to place the heels on the floor and roll onto your back, hugging the knees into the chest. Just rock from side to side. So we're going to 
practice a little bit of rock and roll. This is a really good way to warm up for the shoulder stand. So bring the arms by the side of the body on the mat. And as we exhale, we roll the feet over the head. And as we inhale, we rock forwards, coming into sitting. Try to keep the feet off the floor, but don't worry too much. So do that a few times. Exhale, roll the feet over, and inhale, rolling forwards. Just try to just play around in your own side a few times. You can even grab behind your thighs and hold on to your, the backs of your thighs if you like. Nice massage for your back. Loosening it up, ready for your shoulder stand. So on the next time you come up, you're going to um, sit, sit up, lift the feet, either keep hold of the legs or bring the hands in prayer. Engage your abdominal muscles and sit here. Or you can straighten the legs if you're feeling quite awake by now. on the floor and roll. So if you're in shoulder stand, you can just come into your shoulder stand from here. So roll the feet over the head, hands on the back, and shuffle the hands and elbows close together to come into your shoulder stand. But if you're not doing shoulder stand, you can just come onto your back and do a few rounds of the hip lifts. Working on um, lifting the hips and after a few and releasing and after a few rounds keeping the hips lifted and this connection here with the throat and the collarbone area which is kind of what you experience a little bit in the shoulder stand Soles of the feet together, knees wide. And inhale, stretch the leg. Let's bring the right foot against the left leg into a tree pose with the leg. And exhale, send that left leg over the head. Inhale, reach back up again, and change legs. Exhale, right leg over the head. Inhale, to reach up. And exhale, both legs. If the feet are on the floor, release the hands, perhaps. Lift the sitting bones, lengthening the spine. If you had your fingers interlocked, try changing them around. And we're going to come out of the shoulder stand, so use the arms as brakes to lower yourself down. Hips touch the floor, and then keep the legs straight and lower them both down. So from here, 
So you can either do the fish pose or you can do the full wheel if you feel that you're nicely warmed up to perform the strong back bend. So for the fish, we will roll both arms under the body as much as possible so that if you're looking down from above, you wouldn't even be able to see your elbows. That's what we're aiming for. Feet together, press into the arms, lift the body off the floor and bring the back of the top of the head to the mat, rolling the shoulders back. And stay there for six deep breaths. So the full wheel, walk the feet back towards you. Place the hands either side of the face, fingers pointing down towards the shoulders, elbows, elbows pointing up. Press into the hands, push the hips up and come onto the crown of the head. Pushing up through the hips. And if you want to go further, pressing into the hands to lift the head off the floor. Chakra Sana opens all the chakra. To release out of the full wheel, exhaling the crown of the head to the floor, and then pushing your knees forwards to roll onto the back of the head again, coming out safely, protecting your neck, and then hug the knees into the chest. Come out of the fish, just release the body, and then bend the knees into the chest, and we'll all just lift our head towards our knees. And grab your elbows perhaps really hugging tightly and then release keep the knees where they are take the, the arms out wide so we're going to try to keep the knees together the whole time and keep them as high as possible so inhale as we exhale let's take the knees to the left and turn to the right Inhale to the center. Exhale, knees to the right, face to the left. Doesn't matter if the knees don't touch the floor. Inhale, just keep them squeezing together. And exhale, left with the knees. Inhale to the center. And exhale to the right. So you can continue with the knees bent, working on keeping them, touching each other the whole time. I have to turn around here for the space. Or for a stronger variation, keep the legs straight and keep the feet together the whole time. You're gonna breathe in and exhale, the legs to the left. Inhale to the center. So using your abdominal muscles for both variations, this is a stronger variation. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Just three more rounds. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Last round. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, take the legs over, knees over, and just flop them to the floor. And relax, and turn the head, if not already, to the right. And breathe here. knees or feet together, inhaling to the center and then flopping the legs across to the right and turning to the left. the center and then hug the knees into the chest and place your hands on your kneecaps fingers pointing down towards your toes 
and make some nice big circles, massaging your whole back. Go both ways. And then knees away from each other, so push them away, open them wide, opening those hips. Change direction. And it's quite nice to kind of alternate here, just one leg, the other. Hug. Then come into Shavasana. Your legs wide, look down the body, put you in a straight line, and release the head, bringing the chin close to the collarbone, palms turned up. So make any final adjustments here to make sure that your body is comfortable. And then be completely still. Once again, just at the, at the beginning, use your awareness to help you relax and let go. And bring your awareness down to your feet, your toes. Just find the space between each toe. Relax the soles of your feet, the tops of your feet, and around your ankles, heels, lower legs, the shin and the calves, around your kneecaps, backs of the knees as well, and the sides, just relax. Relax the thighs and your hips. Be still in your right leg and in your left leg. Awareness to your lower back. Your middle back. Shoulder blades. To the space between your shoulder blades. And your upper back. Notice it soften as you become aware. tops of your shoulders and the tops of your arms space in your armpits upper arms elbows forearms wrists fingers and thumbs Feel the space between your fingers. Feel the space between your chin and your collarbone. Space between your ears and your shoulders. Space inside your ears. between your teeth. Okay. 
relax all your facial muscles. And become aware of the breath. Start moving your fingers and toes and gently turning your head from one side and then the other. And then bringing the knees into the chest and rolling over onto your left side. Making a pillow for your face. Press into your top hand, lift yourself back into sitting. Arms turned up, eyes closed. Actually, let's rub the palms together wake up our eyes for the rest of the day, whether we're looking at screens or whatever we're doing, we need healthy eyes. So once the palms are warm, place the hands over the eyes, on top of the eyelids. Feel the warmth against them, just soaking up that warm energy from the center of our palms, our marble points, energy centers in the hands. And then open the eyes to look into the darkness. Open them wide. Spread the fingers. And come back to the heart. Namaste. Have a lovely day and see you soon.